Hi friends, this video will help you to understand about Einstein's principle of laser. We know that light is absorbed or emitted by atoms during their transition from one energy state to another. Let us consider an atom has two energy levels E1 and E2. When the atom is exposed to the light that is photon of energy, there are three distinct processes takes place. They are absorption, second one is spontaneous emission, third one is stimulated emission. The first process absorption. An atom in the ground state absorbs the photon of radiation of energy and goes to excited state. Here upward transition takes place. This process is called as absorption. Normally, the atoms in the excited state will not stay there for a long time. So, it comes to ground state by two methods. The first one is spontaneous emission and another one is stimulated emission. Now, let us see what is spontaneous emission. The atom in the excited state returns to the ground state by emitting a photon of energy without applying any external triggering. It is very very important. Without external triggering, the atom in the excited state returns to the ground state by emitting a photon of energy. Here, word transition takes place. This process is called as spontaneous emission. The emitted photons move in random direction. The radiation is less intense. Photons are not in same phase. So in general, we can call this type of transition is called as non-radiative transition. This type of non-radiative transition is incoherent. Next, the third process is stimulated emission. With the external energy, the atom in the excited state returning to the ground state by emitting a photon of energy. Here, for the external triggering, a photon is appeared. It moves to excited state and hits the atom. Hence, the atom returns back to the ground state. According to Bose atom model, when transition takes place from low, higher energy level to lower energy level, photon is emitted. Now we have two photons. One is triggering photon and another one is emitted photon. Both are in same direction, same phase and high intense. These are the properties of coherent. So, in this process laser comes out from that material. So, ultimately we can say the stimulated emission process is the key factor of laser. Thank you.